Let's talk about how you create community in retirement. That's what today's video is gonna be all about. I'm Elliot Apple, founder and financial planner of Kindness Financial Planning, and I wanna dive into a little bit detail about how you create community in retirement, because for whatever reason right now, I feel like I'm having a lot of conversations about how you create that community, where you decide to live and what impact that has on your community, and making sure that you have a tight network or close group of friends or family there for you as you approach retirement. It seems like maybe post-pandemic, if we wanna call it that, that this is top of mind for more people, at least anecdotally, that's what I'm seeing in the people that I'm having conversations with. Whereas before it was part of conversations and there was nervousness about retirement, but it really seems to be this focus and community is the word that comes up most frequently when I have these conversations of how am I going to spend my time? Where should I live? I want to make sure I like my neighbors, I like my neighbors now, but maybe this house isn't for me long term. And so I think it's important as you think about your own retirement, how are you going to to think about your own community. How are you going to go out and create it? For some people who are religious, church or your religious place of worship tends to be the most common experience that I see where people gravitate towards creating community. But I also see it in volunteer work. I see it in part-time income and just various roles that people want to do. And I meet people who have really professional careers who say, hey, maybe I want to try some sort of customer service type role where I get a lot of social interaction because that's the type of thing that fuels them. There's not a perfect answer for how to create community. And I'm not gonna go into depth today because I don't know the perfect answer here. I'd be curious in the comments down below, how do you create community? What does that look like in your own life? What are the important qualities? Let me know. I'd be curious to know that because as I have more and more of these conversations, I don't think it's going away. I think as we age, we want more of that community, but it seems, or at least it feels like to me that there's fewer and fewer settings to create that community or third places is often a term that comes up where you can just go hang out with people and create that community and have conversation. It seems like things are feeling more isolated and there's good research that shows having a community, having friendships, having some sort of regular commitment during retirement is key to happiness and content. And so I'd be curious if you feel you're really successful in this, how are you doing it? Put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.